Should I keep preaching? Should I preach, brother? Or all right. It is a blessed day that the Lord Jesus Christ has shed His blood to cleanse you of your sins, that you can come to Him and repent. Jesus Christ says, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. Jesus Christ says, is it appointed once for man to die? Then comes the judgment. Jesus Christ says, My people perish for a lack of knowledge. Because they have rejected knowledge, I will reject them, says the Lord. Once God winked at man's ignorance, but now commands all to repent. The Lord Jesus Christ says, He that repents and believes and is baptized shall make it. But he that is baptized not and believeth not shall be damned. We know that the grace of Jesus Christ is a grace that we cannot forsake. It is the only way through Jesus Christ and is the only time we have while we are on this earth. For once you die, then the judgment, and there will be no more repentance. Flee from the wrath to come, the Lord says. For God is angry with the wicked, but that he does not want anyone to perish. You can come to repentance, for grace is there and grace abound through Jesus Christ. We might hear people say, follow your heart, or God knows my heart, or give God your heart. The heart is deceitful above all things and desperately wicked. Who can know it? God is not interested in receiving the corrupt heart of any man. Many don't realize that by nature we cannot do good. Some may do what appears to be good, but those things are as filthy rags before God. Unless those deeds are the fruit of the vine, Christ Jesus. But here is our hope. Not that we reach for God to give Him anything. He sees things as they are, reaches down to humanity to make us clean and make us new by His will, for His glory. And the Lord says, Then will I sprinkle clean water upon you, and ye shall be clean from all your filthiness and from all your idols will I cleanse you. A new heart also will I give you, and a new spirit will I put within you. And I will take away the stony heart out of your flesh, and I will give you a heart of flesh. And I will put my spirit within you and cause you to walk in my statutes. Now we are commanded to repent and believe the gospel that Christ, fully God and fully man, paid for the sins of his people, dying and rising again the third day, so that we could be cleansed and covered by his righteousness. Those who do not believe are under condemnation because their hearts are exactly as they were when they were born, desperately wicked. Christ is our only hope, the only way, and the only truth to salvation. There is no other way, for God makes it clear who will not make it into the kingdom of heaven. Flee from the wrath to come, for God says, Know ye not that the unrighteous shall not inherit the kingdom of God. Be not deceived, neither fornicators, nor idolaters, nor adulterers, nor effeminate, nor abusers of themselves with mankind, nor sodomites, nor homosexuals, nor thieves, nor covetous, nor drunkards, 
nor revilers, nor extortioners will inherit the kingdom of God. But those that come to Jesus Christ and repent, the Lord says, and such were some of you, but ye are washed, but ye are sanctified, but ye are justified in the name of the Lord Jesus and by the Spirit of our God. By His grace and by His mercy, you are made clean and set free only by Him. No one else, not by your flesh, not by your drunkenness, not by your arrogance or ignorance. Jesus Christ, He is the way, the truth, and the life. No one goes to the Father except through me, says the Lord. For it is given once to man to die, then comes the judgment. Flee from the wrath to come. Praise the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Well, make sure, yeah, make sure you guys are spread out your block each other's signs. Wait. Right here? Yeah, yeah. Right here? Alright. Alright, praise God. Alright, let me know when you're ready to preach. Alright. Okay, good. Oh, praise the Lord. Folks, today, if you hear his voice, start it on your heart just for the purpose of preaching. Be glad to believe in the gospel. The Spirit of the Lord is upon me because he had anointed me to preach the gospel to the poor. He had sent me to hear the broken hearted to preach.